three of Bookshelf Bites at the Columbus Junction Public Library. And this month we are making cereal balls. So it's kind of like a smaller batch Rice Krispie treat. Before we get started, let's go wash our hands. In your kit, or maybe you're using supplies that you have here at home, you need one cup of marshmallows, and this is a cup and a half of cereal. I'm using Cocoa Krispies because I love chocolate. Um, maybe you got Rice Krispies, maybe you got Fruit Loops, it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever kind of cereal you want. So in a microwave safe dish, which means no metal at all, don't put any metal in your microwave, pick up your microwave safe dish with your cup of marshmallows, and we're gonna heat it up for about 30 seconds. While you're waiting for your uh, marshmallows to heat up, go ahead and get out a hot pad and maybe something to protect your hands too. Wanna make sure you don't get burnt. After 30 seconds, we're going to stir the marshmallows and see if they're um, gooey enough that we can do something with them. Here, just a couple seconds, we'll stir and then see if we need to cook them a little bit more. Looks like my marshmallows got super duper big, so they're plenty gooey. So I'm gonna stir my marshmallows just a little bit, and now I'm gonna add my cereal. And you wanna make sure that, I had to measure this out earlier, so that's why it's in a Ziploc baggie. You should be able to just open your cereal and dump it in. Oh. So now, carefully stir in your cereal, we hope. Hope you're having better luck than I am right now because I got a bowl that was a little bit too small. Like all good cooks, when you get all done making your snack, make sure you clean up after yourselves. Okay. So I didn't get my dish out or my plate out to put my cereal ball on. Now, to make sure the marshmallows don't stick to your hands, real fast run and go put some cold 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 water on your hands don't dry your hands so they're kind of wet but it's not dripping all over me right so pick up your cereal and your marshmallow and it shouldn't hopefully it's not too hot and form it into a ball. There you go. There's a cereal ball. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Bookshelf Bites. Make sure to stop into the Columbus Junction Public Library for your kit for a limited time, or you can visit our website to get the recipes anytime. We'll see you guys later. Bye!